Should we have not made you the recorder? Are you going to have issues with your phone? No. Okay. I don't know. Great. Maybe. We'll see what happens. <sighs> Cindy, you're not being very Cindy right now. <sighs> anyway. <Anyways>. Well. <laughs> we have all morphed into the same person. <laughs> If you haven't figured that out yet. We are one brain cell. Welcome to the All Talk Pod. We're here. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> what was Sorry, that? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for coming to our dead dog. Yes. Thank you for coming. Ashley, your head is kind of sunburned. I told you I got <laughs> sunburned. Let, Let me see where. Look, 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 look down. No. no. <laughs> look, God. <laughs> Like, yeah. look, like, look this way, right there. Look, you see how it's kind of red? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you see it's oh, like pink, yeah, your little scalp. Right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, my eyes got burned out of my skull. <laughs> I got burned. Oh, you want to talk about that? Word? Lauren got <laughs> toasted. I'm pretty sure I freaking... What's that word? You're a little Singed smart. my arm off by the sun. Is that the right word? Don't touch it. I'm getting my hair <laughs> off your shoulder. <laughs> it's very sensitive right now. Mother Nature was very upset with me yesterday for I have no idea why. Mother she Nature kept slapping us with <laughs> waves yesterday. She was very spicy She kept yesterday. knocking us down. God, mm. the tide. I haven't. That was hard. Man, we, we were, were getting, pulled out many yes, times. Yes, we kept getting... Okay, so there was a moment when I was out there with Dad and Gabe, and I had the boogie board, and I got pulled, and it got deep, pretty much five feet, because it was just my head above water at that point, and it was hard to touch the ground, and I had the boogie board with me, so it was really hard trying to like walk through the water with this freaking board, because it's a floaty, so it's essentially trying to hold me up, but... I'm trying to walk with it, so, and then this tide was, like, and the wind was blowing, so finally I took it off, because Gabe was like, are you okay, you got it? And us being the fucking stubborn mules that we are, <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm fine, I got it, I'm fine, I'm fine, because <laughs> the wind was trying to come, so I'm like, god damn it. So I was You're like, swallowing water, so finally, I got it. I had to swallow my pride with the seawater, and I took off the yeah. floaty, and I threw it to Gabe, and then I was able to manage to get myself to solid ground. And then Gabe looks at me. He's like, you good? Yes, asshole. I'm good. I'm <laughs> fucking floating. <laughs> Just so much rage. <laughs> Just Anyways, so much. But it was fun. <laughs> but yeah, and I got I got burned to the core. Someone was mad at me. Someone voodooed me yesterday. I don't look at me I'm like sorry. that. It I looks really it. bad. I just I feel it. bad because it just, looks like you're just in a lot of pain. I've, I've had been, sunburns like that dude, before, wearing and a it bra, feels horrible. Wearing, oh yeah, wearing a bra tomorrow for work is going to suck. Wearing a bra is in general is is just. We Stupid. just don't need that kind of negativity in our lives. They don't need to be caged. No, they don't need to be they caged. Don't do they anything. need to be set free. They just sit there. In all their glory. They just sit there. They don't do nothing. Yeah, that's all, that's all they do. So If anything, they cause me back pain. Yeah, so whatever. Um <sighs> Yeah, we went to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> if you couldn't tell. That's we went, where we were. We went to the beach yesterday in celebration of episode ten. <laughs> So, if you haven't listened to the cautionary tale of Lauren and the Cheeto, <laughs> I'm looking at you, Cindy. You're already late to the party, but it's fine. But it's fine. We get it. You know what? Don't come at me. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Lindsay was <laughs> saying that it was the cautionary tale of Lauren What'd you say? No, you can't even say it right. <laughs> Lauren of the... Lauren of the... See, now that you're know. saying it, it sounds dumb. Listen, that's just the word stumbling I had yesterday. Just Lauren came out of word the vomit. Cheeto. That doesn't make any sense. I am I not a process. Cheeto. I am not a part of the a Cheeto. The cautionary tale <laughs> of the Cheeto. She was putting more emphasis on the Cheeto than of you. Oh, yes. So. No, it was about... I only mm. cared about the Cheeto. Because <laughs> she loves <laughs> Cheetos. Literally. I love Cheetos. She More than her Cheetos. flesh and blood. Got I it. wasn't there. Yeah. I don't even think I was a thought in the brain yet. Was no, I, you were I, there. I don't know if you were there. I don't know. No, I weren't you a little was baby? I, I don't know. You little cabbage patch? I wasn't that young. You were... You had to have been in existence at that point because I wasn't a toddler. You definitely wouldn't have remembered. I don't yeah, know. I would have been pretty young. Anyway. I just detached myself from that memory. Point is, is the older we've gotten, because it didn't concern me, so I don't know what you're talking about. 
<laughs> the point is, the older we've gotten, the more we've our skin has changed. Now, apparently, my eyeballs literally cannot see when I've been in the sun, and they burned out of my skull. Lauren, who used to get nice and brown, nice and toasty and golden, now gets burnt like a charred tomato. Like a little fish stick. <laughs> Like yeah, a little, like a little, little I don't know. tomato. <laughs> yeah, tomato. Because I get red? Yeah. But I'm not already red. You're like a little lobster. I turn into oh, that's, one. That's better. Lobsters get brighter, Shh, but they're dark. still... I mean, red. this is pretty bright. This is... My, every... <laughs> you know? <laughs> have you ever seen, like... Like that, like on the show, and they're like, it's not that bad, right? And they show it, and their friends trying like, to be oh. nice, like, yeah, <laughs> like no, it's not that bad, but like their face says, like, oh, that's fucking bad. Okay, all of you assholes, y'all don't say, y'all do not try to make me feel better at all. Okay, I showed mom, mom, I thought mom was gonna throw up. It was like, oh, oh my god, uh, and then dad was like, wow, that's really bad, and I'm like. Okay, guys, it's fine. I'll just put aloe vera on it. And then I'm sitting here and everyone, both of y'all with your little brows, they're all scrunched here in the middle. And you're making these little lip movements like, ugh, that's gross. It's I not think gross. It's gross. It's we just, just painful. Yeah, like well, I fucking we can relate to that. I've felt that uh, pain yes. before. Lindsay and I have I'm radiating heat. Yeah, like that's feel what my happened. shoulder. No, feel it's it. hot. I can I feel it. You could cook your little eggs on my shoulder. You could. Like your hot. Your body is... temp just. Oh my god! I just up. don't get it. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I know what you did. I know oh. what you did, dude. I reapplied, and it's always so funny because I always think I'm doing a good job <laughs> because I'm I'm conscious of it. Like, okay, this happened last time, and it freaking sucked. So now I'm going to make sure that I pay attention and I apply more sunscreen and I have aloe vera with me and yada yada. And I still, you cannot, it's never good enough. You, it's never good enough. Okay, you cannot but, lay out anymore. Yeah. Like stop laying out. Like you're going to be out because we were out there for what, about like four hours, four or five hours. Well, yeah. and then you, I was in the water a lot Yeah, too, like you're so you going, you're barely in shade. You're going to get sun. Like that's yeah. just going to happen. So, because of that, you don't need to lay out in addition to you already being in the water and being, like, outside. So, that's that's what I think you went wrong is you laid out and you also applied oil with the sun. So, you (laughs) asked for it, bitch, is basically where we're going. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying as a person that knows because I've been through it before and I've gotten a burn like that before. It fucking sucks, first of all. It's painful. Well, it sucks. and then I'm gonna go to work tomorrow, and I just don't want anyone to make fun of me. And why I'm would someone make fun, fun of you? I don't know. People are mean. Then punch them. What the heck? Oh, okay. Bye. HR. Sorry. You know. <laughs> wow. Oh okay. My God. Don't punch anybody. Don't like, you know? Smack them around a little bit. <laughs> I'm so okay, physical <laughs> violence in general. Yeah. I can't get fired, Lindsay. Thanks. God. Wow, okay, disclaimer, really I would never do this at work. Yeah. Okay. I, my sorry. shoulder is really warm. That's big. Also, I, for, I don't know if this is just I've heard this before or our personal experience, but I feel like once you already start to get a little pink, like a little red um, as a sunburn, and then even reapplying after that, I feel like you're just... It's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. Yeah, it's you're done. just going to keep toasting. Yeah. That's what I was feeling yesterday. I was much. feeling myself get a little pink. And I just went ahead and put a towel over me. I was like, nope, my skin needs to, like, just not Rest be in the sun. a little sun bit, yeah. Because it's, um... <clears throat> I don't put a t-shirt on because then you get that... I already have a farmer's tan, and then it makes it worse. <laughs> I know, my watch but, tan yeah. evened out or kind of went away. Let's see. Mm-hmm. I wear a long sleeve. I have to. My skin is just too sensitive now. Your skin is the most white out yeah. of, like, the three... Like, the most <laughs> white... Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean, like, No, white. she did. I meant, like... <laughs> You know what I mean? A little ghosty, you know. You're a little Pale. alabaster. Pigment. Yeah. Yeah. Out of all the, of it. I feel like you and mine, we have the closest skin. Yeah. Like, in terms of, like, we've always burned. We've always been lighter than. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, Lauren <coughs> gets sun sore. We've always gotten sun sore. Lauren's always been the darker one. The olive toned one. So, that's why the I'm, annoying I'm, I'm un- The annoying one. <laughs> Just kidding. That's why I'm the unexperienced one, <laughs> and I'm still getting burned with my techniques because I haven't mastered it yet. Yeah. I'm not and we to told it. her yesterday, I don't, don't have, put I've oil on. And she was like, "Give me the oil. I'm gonna lay out." Because I've never had and to worry about it, you know. And, and no. I haven't been burned 
this bad. I've gotten, I get sunburn, but that's why I started taking aloe vera with me because once I put the aloe vera on and then I put it on after I shower and I sleep with it by the next morning, it's already pretty faded and it's fine. And I peel like just a little bit, but it's not anything. This is a full blown sunburn yeah. where it hurts and it's hot and I had to take my bra it's off uncomfortable. and I felt it all night when I moved and it's all itchy and it's getting scraped by my shirt and then I tried yeah. to have my purse and I kind of I had to switch shoulders because the strap was rubbing up against it like like this hurts and I just want to know who I hurt <laughs> because <laughs> this is some shit <laughs> yeah yeah exactly it's yeah I get it you that's how bad I burnt on my neck when I went to Enchanted Park this summer. Mm. What is it? No, Enchanted, Enchanted Rock. Rock this summer. Excuse me. Excuse <laughs> the hell out of me, Lindsay. How dare you? Apple. 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 Texas. Texas. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Promotion. D- for Enchanted Rock? Do yeah. they need it? I don't know. Probably not. Not sponsored by Enchanted Rock. Into but, it. Like, would be. Would be, probably. Yeah, it's beautiful. Go check but it out. But not. Yeah. Anyway, sunburn. anyway, point is that's <laughs> okay. how sunburned I got on my neck when I went to Enchanted Rock, and I almost died. Oh my god! No one seems god, to care that's, about that. That was an intense day for you. Wasn't but I got that, that red wasn't around that my neck. Was that the one where y'all didn't bring enough water and no had no food? And yeah, then the y'all beehive. Just kept in. <laughs> like y'all just went out there. And and like one day y'all were like, we're gonna go yeah, camping. It was like a hundred okay, degrees outside. Go. Like, Full blazing sun. Total. Yep. Yeah, I know about that story. Your the hands. Everything one. that could go wrong that day went wrong. That's... Your hands swelled up. You had no cell signal. It started getting dark. <laughs> okay. Well, I think you just added a little. But dramatic. <laughs> that stuff could have happened no, because I, don't know. I really thought that's how we almost died on Enchanted Rock, and yeah, and that's how sunburned my neck got because we did. Of the many things we didn't do that day, we did not put on sunscreen to go on a four-hour hike <laughs> on a rock yeah. in the middle of June. In full sun, sun. No shade. Shade. weather, with no yeah. shade. Just yeah. did not dawn the curtain. No, us. It didn't occur to me. In fact, <laughs> in fact, my ass thought that she was going to run up that rock in a half an hour, run back down, <laughs> go have fine. a nice Fredericksburg lunch, and move on with her fucking life. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> Yeah. And you know what's funny? We and I said it before. We've climbed that rock before, and last time we were like over prepared. <laughs> Our backpacks were heavy <laughs> from the water bottles. We had a whole lunch, <laughs> sandwiches, snacks, everything. I even think we had a towel for sweat. Like we had everything covered. We did, and. That was a good day. <laughs> that was a good day, actually. And it was good. Yeah, we were perfect. We were fine. I don't know what happened. (laughs) We were perfect. We were fine. I hadn't been diagnosed with diabetes yet. Things were (laughs) things were better. It was a different time. (laughs) Also, though, when we did that, it was like fall, wasn't it? It Yes, even it was fall. It was like. It was a clear blue day, but I remember we got to the top of the rock and it was no, kind of no. chilly, no? It wasn't fall. It was July, but it was oh. it was a cloudy day. Yeah, it oh, was okay. like not as hot. It was like a like in fact I think it even might have sprinkled at one. Like it wasn't hot. I remember that. And it wasn't humid. I and remember. And it wasn't humid. Cuz we weren't yeah. sweating like crazy, you know, Yeah, the humidity. And sweat. I think that's one of the reasons why we went. We were really preparing for that for that, that kind of weather. <laughs> we were preparing for that hike like we went on we just prepared. And on this one Bianca and I just had a day off. We, we wanted to do something different. So we decided to go to a, to a chanted rock. We were all cocky about it. We were like, we've done this before. Everything's fine. We're going to be great. We get up there. We forgot our water bottles in the car. <laughs> so the limited water bottles you brought yeah. were forgotten in the car. <laughs> yes. We had one water bottle each all the way up there. Of this First race. of all, I just want to know why y'all kept going. Like, why didn't y'all stop midway and come back? Go go you as know, far as you could and come y'all back. Y'all quitters. Exactly. First of all, uh, I'm not a quitter. I How dare you? <laughs> Second of all, yeah, right. I was trying to roll down that hill so many times or that rock so many damn times. So many times I looked at Bianca and I was like, I'm done. And I like go <laughs> anyway. shoulder first. Yeah. Turn- Doubling. It got to the point oh. where Bianca and I were posting up behind, like, <laughs> behind, like, little... Because there's nothing... Like, Enchanted Rock is a 
like a rock. I don't even know what you would call. Is that like called something? I don't know. Like a type of geo, like a, what is it? Geologic something. Anyway, it's a rock. It's like a dome rock and you climb up it. Well, when you get to a certain point, it's pure rock. There's no trees. There's no bushes. There's no nothing. It is pure solid Smooth incline. Rock yeah. incline. Yeah. So we get to that point. <laughs> So Bianca and I, I had this idea. I was like, okay, if you're going to stop to rest, we're stopping to rest on the side of a smooth rock is literally just standing there. That's what stopping to rest is. If you're going to stop to rest, stop stop in a position where if you roll down, you hit a tree first. So we were literally oh my stopping gosh. where we were, where I knew that if I passed out, if I passed out, I was going to roll into a tree. Why do y'all keep going? <laughs> Jesus. I was just... Called it quit. We're not quitters. Emergency Ugh. plan. Well, anyway, we made it up to the top, and it was it was horrible. barely by the skin of your teeth. Literally, I used my teeth. Going <laughs> yeah, you there. got you almost passed out on the top of the rock, didn't you? You I got like super dizzy out several times. No, I know, but the top of the rock was like y'all yeah. got up there, and then you're like, we gotta go. I right? got up there, and that was pretty much like you know. I think the adrenaline was going on the way up, where we were like. <laughs> That's I what got, got y'all through. I got this. I can do this. Yeah. I'm not gonna pass out. And I'm pride, in. adrenaline, and pride because we had already done this before. And I was like, Bianca, you better fucking get it together. Get up this fucking rock. Like that was pushing us up. So by the time we, yeah, Lauren's right. By the time we got to the top, I was like, like, like about all of to it cry. went down. <laughs> all of it went yeah, away. Yeah, I you crashed. crashed hardcore and I just looked at you and our water was gone and we had food because I did bring some snacks but we didn't want to eat them at that point because we weren't feeling the best <laughs> and so I'm just looking at her and I'm like I need to get the fuck off this rock before I I don't even know oh my god and so yeah we booked it down in like literally like under 30 minutes i mean we booked it down that rock like i ran down that rock i was so over it bianca kept telling me you need to stop you need to rest like you're gonna pass out and i was like no no no. i need to get the fuck off this rock i'm over it like i'm just like running down that fucking rock and we get to the bottom and bianca and i literally sat on benches for like a good five minutes just staring off into the distance like (laughs) trying to get your (laughs) feet Trying to gain consciousness again. And Bianca went to, she finally gathered a little bit of strength and went to the, <laughs> she crawled over. <laughs> crawled over to the little hut that sold oh, waters yeah. and snow cones. <laughs> For five dollars a piece. Yes, it's exactly. rip off. Exactly. It's like going to the fucking movie theater where they charge you thirty dollars for a thing of popcorn. God. And anyway... And she got us a couple of waters, and she got us a snow cone that we shared. <laughs> and while we were just sitting there, like, drinking water and eating snow cone and staring off into the distance, like, we were <laughs> trying to muster up the energy to go to the car. Right? That point. Yes, exactly. It's still a hike. And it is because the... Because any, anyone who's been, ever been to a state park knows that parking is always forever away from the yeah. entrance. It's always, like... It's like a... It's, it's like, like a journey hike journey. to get to yes. the yes. fucking park. Yes. yes. But I knew that more waters were in the car. <laughs> so I was like, let's just go. That was your motivation. That was my motivation there. Even though my feet fucking hurt. Because that was the other thing. We weren't really wearing the right shoes. We should have taken our hiking shoes and not, <laughs> not our fucking... Van. Not our fucking <laughs> like, uh, Air Maxes or some shit. You know, something that's totally ridiculous. Yeah. They, weren't, they weren't that. But they were something like, yeah, like our Adidas or like our whatever. Anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> point of the story is oh and on the way back to the car i ran into a a hive of bees oh my god so i sat down at the bench to try to rest on my trek through the parking lot (laughs) back to my car (laughs) and i sat down on a bench and i heard it It well first of all i smelled it before i heard it which i I, like it smelled like i had a there was a weird smell which i think i've heard that beehive smell but I guess I've never really... Like what? That's weird. It smelled like... <laughs> like honey? No, it smelled like... Not not rotten. It just smelled like different. Like it smelled like musky. Like it was just a different kind of smell. And I was like, what's that smell? And then I heard it. And it was like... And I was like, oh my God. And I was like, where the fuck is it? And I'm thinking it's a hive. It's a hive. But like, where is it? And Bianca, Bianca heard it because she kept walking past like the part where I was... That's how you know it's loud. And she told me, she was like, 
Ashley, she was like, come, come this way. Like, get out of there. Just be, 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 uh, like soft about, like, don't be loud. And I was like, okay. And so I like, and of course, t- telling me not to be loud when I'm getting out. So I'm like tumbling out of the way, like through the brush. I'm like, do you see it, Bianca? All yelling. And she was like, oh my God. Anyway, it was fine. We never saw it, but I, it was loud. We heard it. It was like a, like, yeah, it was. Jeez. Yeah, that was. And I, but the moral of the story is, I got a sunburn on around my neck <laughs> that was so that color. Yeah, circle back a around. Sunburn that? that I talked about. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you take notes? Yeah, the sunburn that I talked about 15 minutes ago. We yeah. finally got back to it. Yeah. The point is, I've been where you've been. <laughs> I can I relate. Can relate. <laughs> I can oh relate. My God. Been, that's why Lindsay thought I had a, su- a neck burn yesterday because if you could, it's <laughs> that's dark like scarred. It's like scarred sunburn scars. Is that a thing? Yeah, I guess it's a thing. Sun scars? I sun don't scars. know. Ooh, those are kind of cool. Sun, sun scars. scars. <laughs> okay, don't try this at home, everybody. I know. Don't get a sunburn and find out. Okay. Don't get sun scars. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, but for reals. <laughs> that's what I happened. am permanently burnt. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I have a sun scar, really. Anyway, point is, put your sunblock on. Point is, 2020. Take shade. You know. 2020 has been a a bitch of a year, obviously, for everyone. I'm so tired. Are you okay? I'm tired. Okay, well, pull it together a little while longer, (laughs) please. God, I'm sorry we're boring you. (laughs) Why don't you talk about what you want to talk about? Tell us about the Umbrella Academy. Go. Oh my God. Yes, you're watching the Umbrella Academy. So, I um, I finished season one. There's two seasons, but I haven't started season two. <laughs> um, okay, so the Umbrella Academy, it's like, it's on Netflix, and it's fairly new. I think it came out over the summer, like a couple of months ago. And I feel like I heard a lot of people talking about it, saying that it was good. So, finally, I just watched it. And it gives me kind of Marvel vibes, because it's... There's, like, superpowers in it, and then there's, like, that humor. It's, like, humorous, so it's not all, like, dark, and but there's, like, crime. I don't know. It gives me, like, Marvel vibes. Um, but it, it was ten episodes, and I felt like Lindsay with the whole Full House. I watched three seasons before everyone said I didn't like it. <laughs> but it was ten episodes long, and... That it, was Fuller House, by the way. Whatever. Fuller House. And it took me till about real. episodes... I get, we get it. We get that you liked it. All right, go ahead. <laughs> it took me till about episode six to where it started getting interesting and it started getting good. Mind you, these are hour long episodes. So it took me six <laughs> hours and like four weeks to finally get it. Six hours and four weeks. <laughs> to finally get it to <laughs> get good. But then it kind of took off. And so, so it ended, I don't know. I think that's probably why, I don't know. Like it had its moments. Where I was like, oh my god! Like, oh, okay. Spoiler? No, but oh. it was just one of the, it was one, I think this is why I kept going. Because it was boring, like the first, like, 30 minutes of the show were really boring. And it was like the last 10, 15 minutes where it got good. So then you're like, you okay, now I have one. to watch the next episode. And then, again, it's, you figure out what happens from the last episode, but then it's 30 minutes of it being boring, and the last 10 minutes are really good. So then you're like, God, okay, well, now I have to see what happens. And then next thing you know, you finish the whole fucking season. But <clears throat> I am pretty much Vanya. I'm Vanya. <laughs> and y'all, I'm Vanya. Uh, okay. okay. So just to, like, like, kind of... I've a, never we've seen, never seen kind this show. Of a, no, okay, kind of a spoil alert. Ugh. <sighs> No, never mind. I'm no, tell me. It. No, I'm not gonna do okay. it. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. Okay. But just I'm Vanya. know. Okay. Yes, and <clears throat> who's Vanya? Who plays Vanya? Who? Ellen Page. Ellen Page. Okay, yeah, yeah. the Ellen Page character. Yeah. Um. Her. So yeah. So oh, I'm her. Anyways. <laughs> Got um, it. So yeah, I <laughs> no. <laughs> noted. I think y'all might y'all might be interested into it. I think you, it's one of those things where you have to give it like just humor it because it does get progressively better. As you watch the episodes. Yeah. Um, Because the last couple of episodes, I was like, okay, I want to binge it. Like, I was watching it um, regularly because I wanted to see what happened. But it's kind of been, like, a couple of weeks since I finished the first season. So I haven't started the second season. 
Do you want to? Like, was it good enough where you want to? <laughs> yeah, but it's also at the same time where it's like, I'm not dying to see it, you know? Um, but I think that's why it's taken me so long to, like, get back into it. Because, yeah, it was good, but it wasn't like, okay, I have to see what happens. Yeah. Um, that's like me with Game of Thrones. Oh, fuck off. You. Oh, my God. That was, okay. It was a struggle to get you there, but when you finally got there, it took you a month to watch all eight seasons, because at this point, the eighth season, which I mm-hmm. ugh, am bitter about. Um, Please don't spoil it. I'm going to watch it eventually. No, we're not going to spoil it. No, we're it. not, because you're on the same train Ashley was. I just need you to just get to the third Dude, season, uh, and Season one was long and boring, I know. Okay. and season two started off with the heartbreak, and I'm over it, and I don't want to finish. And no. I'm going to be honest, season two was also boring until literally, like, the last Ugh. two episodes. Yes. And then I was addicted, and yes, yes. I binge-watched the whole series of Game of Thrones in one month, and it was the month where the show was ending. Like, it was one, it was, the show was Yeah, ending. you watched it at a good time. I you did. did. It was amazing. Because you were like you me, experience yeah. who had, that, and, and this you know, is what, yeah. and this is what a lot of people feel, because I had to wait two years for this fucking season. And season seven... Seven? Season seven. That was funny. Season seven was like, you know, dramatic and, you know, climactic and there was a lot going on and then you had to wait two fucking years and then it was that season. Season eight yeah. was just We'll talk such- about it. I think we should do a whole um, Game of Thrones episode. Game of Thrones okay, episode. Let's see. After I mean, Lindsay's you... watched it, okay. stupid. Okay, yes. I've been wanting to watch it lately. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I have, have and I just I. It's because and I'm like I get in the mood to watch it, and then I I. You have I, to realize though that there's so much that yeah, it needed two seasons because now because two seasons introduces yeah. and kind of explains and it sets up the storyline, and then the rest of the series is all of it. So. Oh, we'll talk so about it after good. you watch it, and we'll it's do so it. So good. Anyways, okay, it is fine. So good. Okay, yes. I'll watch anyway. it. Yes. No, you will. No, I am saying yes, I will. Like yes, you yes, have yes. Them, yes. Like, you yes. Have like, this is your homework. And it's crazy because I want to watch it. Like I do. Well, I, I'm you're very interested it, into it, in, but I'm just. In my opinion, you're going to be watching it the best way possible, which is to binge it. Mm-hmm. Like I feel for those people that were watching it season to season because, like Lauren is saying, brutal. Hard, that yeah. would be brutal because of the way that the that it ends you know, each season. I wouldn't mind rewatching it if that'll help you watch it. I will rewatch <laughs> Might it. Might help with me you. get through season two. Yeah, I'll yeah, watch yeah, it. With I'll you. watch it with you. Okay, we can have watch parties. Let's do it. I'll relive all the heartbreaks. Okay. Okay. Anyway. 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 We'll have a whole episode of Game I just of Thrones. Want you to Stay know, tuned. Together. I just want you to know you have to be. I have to emotionally prepare you. Okay. Season one was hard for obvious reasons, but there are other parts. It ain't shit. Right. I'm, I'm aware. aware. <laughs> I've heard. I've heard. Uh, Everyone put it lightly. Me. Thank you, Ashley. It <laughs> ain't shit compared. To some things I have you're going bigger to heartbreaks to prepare for. Yes, yes. yes. Her, I'm not ready, oh. and that will be a spoiler-filled episode when we go through that. Yeah. Okay, that's exciting. That can be something to look forward to. Well, yeah. disclaim it. You don't have to watch it or listen to it. <gasps> Y'all had whatever. Windstop. You have to listen to everything we put I think out. I'm gonna have don't Windstop unless it's sure. spoilers. Come on now. Then, then they have to me. watch the series and then they listen. No, to okay, our so episode. they can <laughs> skip ahead time. Yes, they went yes, to Wingstop. Yes, I had Wingstop. <laughs> <laughs> I talk, someone starts talking. <laughs> anyway, point oh is. God, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Is it working? Okay. It's working. I think I'm gonna have Wingstop for dinner. I Their love lemon Wingstop. pepper chicken tenders are tenders? the bomb. Yes, I know it sounds weird, and I would have never, ever, ever ordered chicken tenders on their own. Like, let's go to Wingstop and get chicken tenders. But <laughs> recently, they've had their twenty dollars bundle where you get so many wings and so many tenders and fries and whatever. And so that we got that one time, and that's how we tried the chicken tenders. And oh my god, they are so oh good! God, no, it is so all good. about the garlic parmesan. Yes. Okay. Chicken boneless. Ch- the par- oh. garlic parmesan chicken um I mean, in. chicken tenders are also really good too. Garlic parmesan with lemon pepper just you take get it for the me. gnarliest burps though with garlic parmesan, but it is so freaking good. Oh, I haven't had it in a while, so I'm wondering if I'm gonna get sick. Hawaiian you probably wings are my will. Don't do it. But it's chicken. Uh, what? Um. <laughs> <laughs> I love but how you not, talk about it, but like, it's 
chicken. <laughs> yeah, like it's a baked chicken breast. Like that's how you. Well, think, I like, get one in. They, it is fried chicken wings. <laughs> like it's not the same. Okay. Did you just say you get bone in? They're still fried. But I feel like those are better oh than the chicken than the boneless because those are like legit chicken. Nuggets. Okay, but you're good. That's a lot of acidity. And you can't, don't you stay away from acids? Like every... I mean, I just had coffee. Well, stop drinking okay. the coffee! <laughs> but I like it. Oh. <laughs> my god. Small little boys. I love that you know when small. your body is getting old and you start to, like, think about things like, I had a, I had a small serving of coffee. <laughs> I had it. So, I'm just, we're done for the day. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why you think you're at Wisconsin. I don't know why. Wisconsin. Why old lady me is always with the no. I think the the uh, preachy Karen me is always from Wisconsin. That's really what it is. She's always from Wisconsin. She's always like, okay, well, if you want to, <laughs> but you shouldn't. What? Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand why you do it so well. I don't know. You do it so well. Because oh, that's my inner. That's my that's inner. Who you are. That's my, one of your alter. Yeah, egos. that's one of my alter egos. Wisconsin, Karen from Wisconsin. Karen from Wisconsin, who's very passive aggressively preachy. Mm-hmm. Anyway, point is. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. <sighs> All right. Oh, you know what I've been watching. <laughs> What have you been watching? Gilmore Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Gilmore Squirrels. Gilmore Squirrels. Lauren, you need to watch it now. Gilmore Girls <sighs> is my all-time favorite. Though. I started watching Gilmore Girls because Lindsay loves it. It's her all-time favorite show. And I've known that for a while. And so I've been, you know, kind of getting into the mood. Trying to find when I'm in the mood to watch it. So I've been in a mood lately to watch very light, very, like wholesome type shows for lack of a better word and i've tried a couple like i tried that one what did you say it was called Lindsay? that sweet one magnolias on, sweet magnolias on netflix i tried that one i couldn't get into it not saying that i wouldn't try it again but i couldn't get into it um so i went to the gilmore girls totally got into it <laughs> and here we are and i uh, yeah and i and i'm almost done with season one so i'll keep i it. might look into it because i am trying to find a new show to watch but is it bad, mm. corny, cheesy acting? Because I can't get into that. I don't think so. I actually think it's pretty good. Is acting. it? Is it like Hallmark acting? Because I don't like Hallmark acting. Would you say that it is? I don't know. I, don't I think Hallmark. Because so. you know what I mean, right? Hallmark acting. It's is not very, cheesy like, like that. Clean and like I don't think fake and <laughs> just bad acting. Very clean. Very fake. <laughs> it's acting. Very horrible. <laughs> just bad acting. You know what I mean? I yeah. know what you mean. Thank you. It's not like uh, I mean, I personally don't think it is. I well, don't think the so. the this feels really good. Who's that main actress? Who plays Lorelai? Lauren Graham. Lauren Graham is the main. That's actress. the daughter, right? No, it's the, the mother. mom. Oh. <laughs> wow. In an alternate universe, in another life, I am Lorelai Gilmore. I feel, or I want to be Lorelai They're Gilmore. so basic. I feel like so many people... I do! I want to live in a small town I, on the East Coast <laughs> and enjoy all different seasons of weather. Love snow. Love the fall <laughs> leaves changing. <laughs> I want to have my own personal coffee shop that I go to every morning and yeah. get my coffee. I want to stroll to work. <laughs> You are just the saying most wholesome soul. I want to be friends with everybody in the town. <laughs> get it, Cindy? Me? That is Cindy. I'm sorry, that is Cindy's That's world. That's my alternate life. That's why you're the fan favorite. Meanwhile, you're just so I'm, wholesome. I'm Lawrence watching. Lawrence gets famous off of a freaking Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, Lawrence. Like <laughs> from the cautionary tale of Lord and the Cheeto. Lawrence, like, what if? That's what makes it famous. What if tag, that's what? Because we tag Cheetos in it, so I could just but that's totally not gonna do see them anything. being like reaching out and be like, "Tell us the story of your Cheeto incident." I don't know. You never <laughs> fucking know. Like your Cheeto. Yeah. You never fucking know. I don't know. First of all, listen and, like, to the fucking how, podcast, Cheetos. And, first and of all, and that's like how we get discovered because I wouldn't let go of a Cheeto because I <laughs> thought I was being Animal Planet and feeding the fucking seagulls. That's amazing, though. That would be an amazing story. (laughs) Anyways. That would be an amazing story of how we got discovered. Whatever. I like how... I appreciate y'all being so positive about it. (laughs) 
I'm like, yeah, right. That's so fucking embarrassing, whatever. And you're like, that's great. That's so funny. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah I know. Cheetos are awesome. Mm, Cheetos are awesome. Cheetos are awesome. <laughs> Once again, Lindsay's only cared about the Cheeto. <laughs> Only kind of the like cautionary Cheeto. tale of the Cheeto. <laughs> Not Lauren, just the Cheeto. Just the Cheeto, where the Cheeto lost its life <laughs> because of Lauren. Oh, so technically, it's Lauren's fault. <laughs> yeah, technically, Lauren murdered the Lauren's Cheeto. the villain. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway, the point is, I'm watching Gilmore Girls. <laughs> it's amazing. Check it out. It kind of is. It kind of is good. Well, I got addicted to it. Okay, maybe I'll like, watch it then. Fine, guys. I'm gonna be a coffee addict like them. You Every already time I wa- are. We okay. already are. The yeah. two of us are coffee addicts. You're right. We are. And I love going to coffee shops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we do that again after COVID? Yeah. Well, we could do it now. There's a lot of coffee shops that are doing like outside serving or like yeah, Ooh, there's coffee, coffee shops. That are trying- oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm <laughs> listening to you, but I'm spoken well, like a true addict. addict. Yeah. I love coffee. Okay, but I do not want Lorelai's parents. Are those gonna, oh, is no. that going to get better or what? Don't spoil it for me. I'm never mind. Never mind. Let me watch it. Let I'm not spoiling it. anything, but they they don't. It's not like their characters like go away. Like they're gonna they're throughout the entire series. Got so, it. Because yeah, her mom is just a lot. A lot. She's a lot. A yeah. lot of. Oh my god, now I feel like I need to watch it. A lot of toxicity. Oh my god. Her mom is. I feel like I need to watch it. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I mean, if you want like something lighthearted, which I, like I said, I was definitely in the mood for. That's why it's, I started watching it. It's definitely like a it. background and it's show, got, it's definitely like puts you in the holiday spirit because it's now September. Yeah, like I'm getting into episodes where like they just had Christmas, they just had Halloween, it's fall there. Like it Aww. definitely puts you in that like... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> well, I'm just... Lizzie's so excited. <laughs> I am, and it, then also since we've did we did what? our main trip last year oh, yeah. or East Coast Aww. trip last year, now I feel like I relate to the show more because I've actually seen the fall. <laughs> Do you ever like <laughs> Lizzie's? Like I am more I am more alive. <laughs> I don't know if you'll ever do this when we travel, but do you ever picture yourself having a better life? Yes! We go? <laughs> I did that on that trip! Like, I mean, I did it on that trip. Yes! I did. When we went to Colorado, anywhere that we go that's outside of San Antonio fucking Texas, I'm like, my life could be so much better yes. in but. these areas. And then I just fantasize about a life I'll probably never have. And then I get depressed again and fly back Why to 90 degree it? weather. I don't know. Because San Antonio is none of those things. Well, I just feel like, uh, the, I don't, I get none so what scared. <laughs> a small, awesome. cute town. Oh. <laughs> wow. With different seasons. Nice weather all year round. Just more, like, better looking. You prettier. know what I mean? Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love San Antonio for its reasons, <laughs> but it's just... I'm over it. Yeah. Anyways. You go- well, but I like I, San Antonio. I know. But I just, I don't know. It's so hard to make, like, those decisions. It's definitely a leap of faith if you were to, you know, leave. I have too much anxiety here. and my attachment issues are too deep. I do. I have thought. So, first of all, I my dream location to live would definitely be somewhere, like, in the Colorado, Oregon, Washington yes. State area. Yes. Um, and by the way, horrible what's happening over there with the fires. And uh, anyway, oh that's so so that's so sad. Um, but that would be a dream location for me to live. But my attachment issues are way too great. Like I would want to stay where mom and dad are. Yeah. And where y'all are, preferably. Yeah. So that's, that's where I, I am too. Uh, so. And to me, San Antonio is <clears throat> not that bad. I don't know. I I like. I hate that Texas is so big. I will say that. Like Texas is such a large state that it takes seven hours to leave it on a drive not even depending on where you're going (laughs) yeah it takes longer yeah so that's a little annoying but really i like i like texas um in terms of like where i live not in terms of other things but in terms of like where i live i I like it i like the culture down here i like the hot spots down here like in terms of like food wise and like nightlife wise and like bars and stuff well when we used to go to bars and stuff anyway i like those aspects of it and i do like that we're in the hill country and we're close to fredericksburg and we're close to austin and we're close to some of these other places so i like that piece of san antonio yeah yeah, yeah. no i agree i do love but i do agree i would love to look out my window every day and see a freaking mountain or like a mountain range or something like that yeah you know 
Anyways, yeah. yeah. I think my goal later on in life, like later on in life, because obviously I don't think this would happen anytime soon, but I want to get to a point where we're so financially stable we could take like two, three week long vacations to these places. Yes. Because I feel like a week, every time we plan it out, I'm like, oh, a week is enough time. And then we go on the trip, the actual trip. And then it's like, oh my God, I'm already leaving. Yeah. It's Friday exactly. already. Yeah. I want to like, be a I would snowbird. want to be there. Yeah. Yes. You know those people that are so financially stable that they could be snowbirds and have like two houses, one yeah. here and one there. <clears throat> Get out of here, privilege. Because I, I knew I couldn't Get out of here, these. economic privilege. No, come back. I Permanently. Want economic privilege. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can anyway. our government get better so I don't have to resort to stripping because I'm getting close to it? I'm getting close <laughs> to, to it. Loans. Hey, hey, just saying. Shout out to all the strippers, all the all the women out uh, there, and men who are just making it work, who have the guts to do it because yep. that's. Yep, I care yeah. too much what people think. Shout out. So, anyways, anyways six months. <laughs> that's all I need. One six months, all. and I would get. <laughs> Lord, I'd be debt free in so. six months. That sounds amazing. Wait, what do you mean? If you became a stripper. stripper. Oh, if you were a stripper, yeah. <laughs> Lindsay, <laughs> she was a stripper. It would be amazing. Thank you, Lindsay. I'm just Anyways. saying. Which, by the way, there is stripper TikTok, and it's just a bunch of these bad bitches coming on with their nails and their Louis Vuitton, and they got a stack of money, and they're like, you want to talk shit about strippers? Bitch, you're talking shit. Talk shit like this. And they're just flat. And I'm like, Yeah. <sighs> Give it, like, give it to <laughs> me, and I'm Please. like, you know what? Yes, I am bitter. I am. I'm envious I for sure. Bitter. You get it, bitch. You do it, and they're just yeah, living, <laughs> let them live. live, let them fucking live. There's yep. no shame in that game. Sex work is work. Okay. Yeah. Say. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Shout out too to all the sex workers for sure. For sure. <sighs> anyway. Point is, <laughs> sorry, I want tangent. to move to Colorado eventually, probably, maybe. At least get never. a snowboard house or something. <laughs> At yeah. least get a snowboard house and go up there. We're going to buy a piece of land in Colorado. Sorry. Buy a piece of land in Colorado because it's cheaper up there. And put our tiny homes on it. I was going to say, Aww. you can put the tiny homes out there because they're probably easier to sustain, I cheaper to tiny. sustain. Oh, oh, and, oh, 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 you know... It gives you a taste of the lifestyle without committing to it. I agree. I've also, you know how everyone, I think we're doing something here. I think we've done. I think we've just done something. Yeah, just build a little. Cabin everyone knows on how I want the shed to live in a van ah. and have like a little, little van or RV life. You could totally park that on just yeah, just buy a plot of land. Yeah, I agree. Taxes I hear are expensive up there compared to Texas, but anyway, point is, well, let's keep our Texas residency and then still get a plot of land up there. Wow, Lindsay, sorry. But don't you have to get... Don't say sorry. (laughs) She goes, is that legal? (laughs) I'll find out before I blast it on the pod. Okay. Okay, That way you won't be... No one listened to what I just said. (laughs) Is that legal? As Lizzie's all gonna freaking smuggle herself. for me. (laughs) No one's gonna come for me. Smuggle herself in the car. (laughs) Lizzie, I'm gonna figure it out. Relax. You're fine, psycho. Your reputation is safe. Your reputation is safe. I just see so many bad things happening. What? Why? No one's going to say anything. Someone's going to come for me. I'm going to lose my job. (laughs) Lindsay, you're fine. Anxiety at its finest. Anxiety is real. (laughs) Anxiety is real. So nobody listen to my advice. I just came until we confirm. Oh my god. I it's not gonna go up unless it's real. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Is I'm gonna confirm it and then if it's true, it won't even if it's not whatever. If it's true, it'll go Whatevs, whatevs. Look, you're fine. Anyway, point is we're all moving to Colorado. So <laughs> I love Colorado pretty much. I also love Vancouver. If anyone gets a chance, <clears throat> Vancouver. Oh, I would honestly we just might if the mm. Elections in two months. Vancouver, Canada is where it's at. Also, I love Vancouver. Anyway, I need to get my. We should take a trip to to Vancouver. Mom really wants to. Yeah. She said if we go to Seattle, she'd probably want to do a Seattle Vancouver trip. Yes, Vancouver is amazing. Ooh. Anyway, so yeah, I've been watching the Gilmore Girls. Been doing that. Um. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That's what we've been doing. And of course... (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, I did not. That was like a... (laughs) 
<laughs> that was like a no interlog moment right there. I did not mean to do that out loud. I'm <laughs> Sorry. You okay? <laughs> I don't know why, why recently I I've started singing the Star Spangled Letter <laughs> as like a random like I was like, gonna say tune. that's a non <laughs> like, Why? That's just in your head all the time? I, I don't know why. I mean, I'll be walking around work and I'll just start humming it and I'm like, what is going on? Oh my why is that? Uh, anyway, Trump uh, putting some I know. messages out there. It's something the that we don't know it's about. Allegedly, just say allegedly. No, that's not alleged. That's <laughs> real. Um. Anyway, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's what we've been doing. Oh my god. Tell us about your week at home. So. <laughs> Uh, it's amazing. God. Yeah, <laughs> it's been nice. Mom Whatever. and Dad like to make me breakfast before work. Oh my god! So, you know, I, you know, they buy me dinner, and we bond, and it's fun. And Dad washes my masks uh, with the gain laundry detergent, <laughs> and he washes out my straws to make sure there's no mold. It's fun. <laughs> They give me financial advice. They're going to help me buy a house. So. She's like- living the life. What is this? So, okay. They're not going to help me buy the house, but they talk to me. They're talking me into buying one and they're going to give me all the resources I need to successfully get one on my own. But anyways, that's the news. I will say that I have. <laughs> Bianca asked me if I want a boiled egg in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> and then she just, I don't even get breakfast before work. And then she just throws it on the stove and when they're You ready, work from home, Lindsay. You make your own fucking breakfast. I, <sighs> I work from home too. I'm just saying that. Yeah. <laughs> and then when the eggs are done, Bianca just yells from the other room, the egg is done. Dad will text me. <laughs> I have to like peel it. Dad everything. will text me while I'm in my room <laughs> and he'll say, we have cocktails. Come downstairs. We'll be on the patio. Oh my so gosh. Punch. Uh, Dad makes us punch. They even have happy hour together. You know, we watch the, we watch the hummingbirds on the feeder. You know, we literally live like five minutes away. How come they don't call us and tell us that they can are text ready? us? Yeah, yeah. They can tell us the drinks are ready. We'll be down. We'll be there as fast as Lauren gets downstairs. I yeah. swear, they've been doing this this entire time. I'm just there. You know what I mean? Like it's just common courtesy. No, I get you. But um, whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to make excuses. It. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I will say I have had anxiety. Um, That's why Bianca tells me. She's like, I'm scared of you talking to Lauren and she's living her best life over there. You're going to leave me to go live with your parents. <laughs> oh, I'm like, oh, oh Bianca, no. I would not do uh, that. Yeah. But I would start you're, making me cocktails. Just you're all case. shaking your head, yes. <laughs> but if you want to stay on the safe side, I guess you start I making me omelets start, in the morning. Yeah, I would start. Let's go for drives. Definitely. And like, <laughs> Literally. Yes. Anyway, sorry. Anxiety. So, yeah, I've just had anxiety because I'm like in a new environment, so I'm in a new routine, and I'm trying to. So I've just been anxious, which doesn't help. No, I get no, that. Me. Anxiety comes out of nowhere sometimes for me, so I definitely feel that. Mm. Are you more comfortable though now that you're back at home? I mean, yeah, I just feel like I'm in high school again. I'm like, oh god, I'm back doing the same thing. Yeah, but you're not really. I know. You're just living in a different location, but you're not doing the same things. You're I still know. It's a different time just, period. It's yeah. just it's weird being back because I really, because like, it's just weird being back because I feel like I really have come full circle from when, I mean, I have. I've come full circle since moving out from high school. Anyways. But as a belie- <laughs> I for me, like, I don't know. I feel like as a believer in science, you made it full circle. And as a believer in science. science. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I'm like, the what? movie and go on. Whatever. I feel like there's a reason you came back to the starting point. I mean, duh. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm just saying yeah, for yeah, a just, better outcome. I don't know. I just yeah, want to say I'm also a believer in science. God, so. Believer in science. Yeah, I guess. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But I, I am. Okay. Because I was excited. Ugh. So mom and dad, and then they're so cute too. Like we were, when they were talking about the house and stuff like that. Because um, I was telling, I was showing them some apartment complexes that I found. So we went Friday night, I think, or Thursday night. 
so I could show them where these apartment complexes were. And then that's when he started talking about the house, getting a house. Because right now it's like a buyer's market, all this stuff. And then um, they were saying, like, if you're going to be spending as much for an apartment, you might as well buy a house. And then that way it's yours. Like, you can do whatever you want to it. And that got me really excited because a lot of these apartments that I'm trying to find that are in my price range, they're so not, they're not renovated. They're like from the freaking eighties and nineties and they still have the same countertops and cabinets and color schemes and appliances. And they're just like, and I can't do anything about that. I can't upgrade them. I can't paint. I can't replace them. You know what I mean? Cause it's not mine. Yeah. Right. So oh, I have been thinking about getting a house. Yeah. Well, it is a good investment in property. It is. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, so, we'll see. But then, mom, mom, mom and dad are like, but no rush. Like, you don't have to move out. Because <laughs> they love that you're home. Well, they like, I, I just, I, I think they'd be like this regardless if, like, any of us were home, they would be like that. But, yeah, dad keeps saying, he's like, you don't have to move. No rush. Take your time. Because dad's happy that you you're home. You don't have to move. <laughs> oh, they're the cutest. Dad's such a teddy bear. Who knew that he would be emotional about us being out of the house? I know. <laughs> I know. <gasps> True. Uh, but yeah, but it's been fun. It's nice. It's comforting. I feel, you know, safe, you know, because it's your home. Yeah. And you're yeah. there with your parents and you're there in, in your room that you spent the majority of your life in. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's, and the AC is always cold and my bed's really comfy and <laughs> they make me din din sometimes. <laughs> Jesus. Well, Bianca does make dinner a lot. I, you know. I came home to Hamburger Helper the other day. Oh and I had God. leftovers for lunch. Yeah, so then. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm so glad. Lizzie and I are just looking at Lauren like. <laughs> like, y'all don't own your own fucking houses. <laughs> yeah, but God. I had my parents Lindy's, making me dinner. Lindy's 23 yeah. and bought her first house ever. My lord. Shut up. I am 28, <laughs> living with my parents. You just turned 23 and bought a two-story house. <laughs> so, that, yes, exactly. Okay, but everyone's timelines are different. I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. no, no, no. That's what I'm saying. You I'm should just be saying. Sorry. Wow. You should apologize. Well, I mean, I'm not going to say oh, no. Jeez. <laughs> I'm not going to say no. I don't know. <laughs> It's just um, so intense. I'm just kidding. You don't have to say sorry. You don't have to say sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah. 